Every year, 10 million tons of butter are consumed. It is one of the most popular dairy products in the world, made from cow's milk. Its delicious flavor enhances the taste of toast. But how is butter made from cow's milk? In this video, we will discover the process of making industrial butter and powdered milk. It is highly likely that accidental churning of cream led to the creation of butter around 10,000 years ago. However, it was during the Industrial Revolution that this delectable dairy product began to reach our homes on a massive scale. The ancient Romans used it as a beauty cream and for treating burns. Back then, people made butter by shaking milk in animal skin bags or hollow logs. The Vikings used it to fortify themselves for their perilous voyages. Up until the 19th century, butter was handcrafted in small batches on farms. However, in 1878, Carl Gustav Patrick invented a mechanical cream separator, allowing for industrial-scale production. Half of Denmark's 570,000 dairy cows contribute milk for butter production. For high-quality butter, it's essential for cows to graze on pastures. However, butter is exclusively made from cream. Therefore, before making butter, cream must be separated from the milk. The world's largest butter company produces 154 tons of butter each day. The butter-making process begins with the arrival of a milk tanker at the dairy plant. Approximately 30,000 litres of cow's milk are delivered. Upon arrival, the milk undergoes rigorous tests in the laboratory. Workers ensure that the colour and odour are consistent before it's pumped through vacuum hoses. The raw milk is pumped to a machine called a separator, which rotates and separates the fat from the milk using centrifugal force. The milk and cream are separated, with the fat becoming the cream and the rest becoming skim milk. The key ingredient for butter is cream, which is thick, whitish, and contains about 38% fat. Some of it will be used to create a lower-fat milk substitute. The lower the fat content, the finer and more liquid the milk becomes. The centrifuge spins at 1,500 revolutions per minute, causing the fattier cream to move toward the centre while the skim milk moves to the outer edges. Fresh cream is loaded into tanks to be transported to the butter factory. However, this cream could potentially contain unwanted bacteria, so it's heated to 92 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds in a process called pasteurization. The cream is then pumped into bulk tanks, where mixers keep it consistent. To ensure consistent texture throughout the year, a two-phase process called ripening is used. Firstly, the cream is heated to between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. Then, it's pumped through threads and slowly cooled to 9 degrees Celsius. This changes the fat crystal structure, providing consistent texture. After maturing overnight, a worker checks the pH and flavor. If the cream is too acidic, it's discarded. However, it's not yet spreadable on toast. Mixing solves this. After pasteurization and 24 hours of maturation, workers prepare to transfer the cream to another machine called the churner. They clean the interior with water mixed with iodine to remove germs from the previous batch. The churner spins for about five minutes before rinsing. Then, 1,500 litres of cream are poured in, filling it halfway. Some space is left for air release during the churning process to escape through ventilation grills. The churner spins a thousand times a minute and contains about a ton of butter. The fat droplets in the cream coalesce due to churning forming creamy clumps called butter granules. Every five minutes, a worker stops the churner, adjusting the air outlet atop. When no more air escapes, they close the valve and restart the machine. After 30 minutes of churning, the cream's fat molecules transform into creamy granules. These clumps remain trapped in the churner, while the remaining liquid, known as buttermilk, flows out through a drain at the bottom. This buttermilk is used to make creamy cheese. This process yields around 12 tons of buttermilk per hour. Now, only the butter granules remain. To complete the mixture, two more ingredients are added. A worker seasons it with 14 kilograms of salt and a lactic culture is introduced. Lactic cultures are bacteria that ferment the butter's lactose. 
converting it into lactic acid and natural aromatic compounds. This imparts a slightly tangy flavour and the familiar buttery aroma. The churning process has introduced air bubbles, which can cause butter to oxidise and develop a metallic taste. The worker seals the churner with a rubber ring and metal clamp, maintaining internal air pressure similar to the outside environment. The butter is then kneaded to mix the ingredients before being sent to a vacuum chamber to remove air. The final product is a rich butter ready for packaging. A worker places around 30 kilograms of butter into a mill, which transports it to the final production phase. Here, it's shaped and packaged. An extruder molds the butter into block shapes, which are then placed into open containers. The packaging paper has an outer aluminum lining to prevent light exposure, which could spoil the butter. Each sheet measures 26.5 cm by 19 cm, and the machine operates four days a week, producing up to 230 packages per minute. To ensure mixing accuracy, workers check one out of every 15 blocks to ensure they weigh precisely 455 grams. A conveyor lifts the ready pallets containing 4,000 butter packages into a cold storage warehouse, where fans keep the butter at around 2 degrees Celsius. A pallet leaves the factory every two minutes, helping distribute 2.5 million butter packages to supermarkets worldwide. Additionally, the factory produces powdered milk. Initially, milk from suppliers is transported to storage tanks with a capacity of 1 million litres. It's then pumped to an intermediate container and further to machines that evaporate the milk, increasing its density to between 45% and 52%. The condensed milk is pumped to the spray drying tower through a heating and homogenization system. The spray drying tower is where the drying process takes place, resulting in a product containing 4% water. Spray nozzles allow for the production of various types of powdered milk, including skim, whole and enriched milk with different vegetable oils. The freshly produced powdered milk is transported to a container above the weighing and packaging line. This fully automated line packages the milk into sacks or bags. The final product passes through the distribution warehouse and is delivered to customers around the world by trucks. If you're interested in learning how mayonnaise is made, you can find the link in the description and the first comment. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with someone who might find it interesting. Subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications to keep learning.